What's going on YouTube? I Hacker here and I haven't been making many videos lately but I'm gonna start a new uh, series type thing I don't know just a kind of set of videos um, about cool things you can do like uh, this video uh, with your Android device so be sure to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy this video so today I'm going to show you how you can display your Android screen onto your computer without downloading anything at all on your computer. This will work on Windows, Windows PC, um, Mac, Linux, any any uh, computer with a web browser will let you uh, see your Android screen. So this is very easy. It's not like all those other videos you will see where you have to download Android SDK and set up a whole bunch of files on your computer. All you need to do on this is go into the Android market, search for an app called WebKey, W-E-B-K-E-Y, all one word. <clears throat> now just install the first one that looks like this. And root required, you do need to be rooted for this. If you're not already, if you do not already have a rooted phone, uh, just go check out a YouTube video on uh, how to root whatever device you have and it should not be too hard and I don't know what's going on with my LED button here but it seems to be going off um, I don't have any messages so I'll just ignore that for now hey it came off um but like I said this is very easy uh, sorry about these lines I don't know how to get rid of those but uh I guess this camera just sucks but this shouldn't take too long to download. Um, see it's installing already. Once it's installed, all you need to do is open it up. And uh, installing new binaries, please wait. Now, once I hit the start service button, it will show IP addresses across the screen. So I'm going to, when I get to that step, I'm just going to put the camera off to the side for a minute. So what you need to do is you need to go to the second tab, settings. I'm just going to uncheck auto start service at boot, you don't need to do that. Um, but when you, what you want to click is user settings, which is right there. So you do need to start the service first. So I'll just put it off to the side. And then, once it has done that, then go to the settings tab. And you should see user settings right here. Click that. You want to create a new user. Um, now this, just create uh, any kind of username and password. I'm just going to put iProHacker. Uh, password. Right there. Hit OK. And uh, this is just going to say, basically what do you want to do with this account? Just hit save user right there. So that is it. Uh, you can go and click on this and change permissions and passwords and stuff. But you're just going to go back. And uh, yeah, so that is the only step for there. Now what you want to do is go to the left most tab, control. And what it, where it was earlier, there should be an IP address. You need to go on your computer, go on your internet browser. I use Google Chrome. And up in this address bar, you're going to type in... The, once you've typed in the IP address, you should see a screen like this. All you need to do is hit login. Okay, once you hit logged in, you'll see a window right here. It'll say the IP address right over top of this. That's why I'm not going to show it. And just type in the same username and password as you had before. So I'll just do that right quick. And then press enter. And it should essentially load up your phone so there you have it as you can see this is working flawlessly um, it's not gonna be perfectly smooth but you know what uh, over a Wi-Fi connection with no cords this is a pretty good uh, way to show your show off your Android screen onto a uh, computer um, fairly simple process as you can see no problems at all um, definitely go try this out if you haven't been following along. Uh, if you like this video, definitely go comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, I'll be doing many more videos, 
even tonight I will be doing uh, probably two or three more videos that are kind of as interesting as this one. Um, so go check those out. Uh, peace.